Hi everyone, it's Sarah Swan and I am here with your Scrap Lift Saturday for today and this is the inspiration piece that we are using this week and Kelly and I decided to lift this layout which we found at Hey Little Magpie's blog and I will include a link to um, the post where we saw it and so basically what Kelly and I decided to work on this week was to do a layout that has heavy layering so just tons and tons of layers all concentrated in one area and this layout was just perfect for inspiration for that so what I took inspiration from for sure was the 6x6 papers that um, was used in the original layout so I took out my 6x6 paper pads and I decided to use up four different pieces of paper and the two that are sitting on the layout right now those were actually from a We Are Memory Keepers paper pad and that completed that paper pad so I used up the last two in there so that was so exciting so I actually used up a product here and then I also pulled one right there from um, from Pebbles which was uh, it's the creative agenda and I think that was designed by Oh, I don't remember, and I don't have it in front of me, um, but the Creative Agenda line. I want to say Caitlin Schaefer, but I'm not sure if that's it. Um, and then I also used the bright yellow one from Amy Tangerine's Plus One line. So I decided to use those four, and I'm going to back my picture with um, some white so that it stands out a little bit more. I'm also going to pop it up on Pop Dots in a bit here. But basically, I went through my stash, and I kind of just pulled out things that were going to be great for layering. I have a couple pieces of scrap papers that have been sitting on my desk, and um, this little piece here is a negative from a die-cut piece from my Week in the Life project that I just recently did and I'm going to use that as a layering piece because it adds a nice little pop of yellow. I have a couple of tags there and I have these vellum frames from Studio Calico so I'm just kind of going to play around with them a little bit and get everything to where I want them to be. And for the frames, for this one at least, I'm going to cut it down and use it in two different places and then the hot pink one I'm going to use as a whole. And then I also pulled some labels from Studio Calico in pink and I have a couple of little um, glittery things from Freckled Fawn and then the thickers I'm going to use are called Print Shop. And that's basically all I'm going to do and once I get my layers down I, I keep it where it's going to go. <laughs> I don't change anything around so um, I'm very very happy with how it came together. And this picture is of my girls in the bathtub and um, I just snapped a picture because they were having fun. They love to take baths. Um, they, they still take one together. My older daughter can actually take showers if she really wants to, but more often than not, she chooses to take a bath with her sister. But um, they just have fun playing and pretend to be mermaids and stuff like that. So I just snapped a picture one night, and as soon as they saw the camera, they posed. <laughs> so <laughs> it was funny. Okay, so I really like where everything is, so I'm going to go ahead and start sticking it down, but I'm going to kind of start from the top down instead of um, taking it all apart and then trying to put it back all together because I really don't want to lose where everything is. So um, I'm kind of working my way through here and trying to keep it as straight as I possibly can. <laughs> And um, as far as the inspiration piece goes, I really liked the ombre effect that, the, that it has on the dress. Um, but it was really hard for me to pull things like that um, in an ombre kind of style when you're doing layering like this. So I was originally I was thinking about doing that, but I was just having a hard time with it. So um, I just kind of decided to pick colors that were kind of in the same... Um, I don't know, I don't know exactly how to describe it. <laughs> Not the same family, but you know, I'm using a lot of pinks and yellows and things like that. So I was trying to choose different shades of that to kind of reflect a little bit of an ombre. And then um, these frames are also a little bit of an ombre as well. They're very subtle, but you can you can tell a little bit better in person. Um, but that's kind of how I how I use the inspiration piece this week. Okay, so I have that all down, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put down this little yellow cut here. So all of those holes had um, little phrase die cuts on it and then when I had punched them all out and used them all I kind of just liked it so I thought that would be a great layering piece. So don't throw away all your scraps. A lot of times you can use them like that. 
And then I also had, um, up towards the top, I still had one little phrase sticker and it said overheard on it, but I didn't have any immediate plans to use that. So I just went ahead and used it as a little added pop of yellow at the top there. Okay, so I'm getting these little glitter stars from Freckled Fawn down and they're just little white glitter star, or not stars, they're arrows. And those were all I had left from that package as well. So that's the second package of stuff I used up. Plus I used up the, the last die cut there. So I guess that's three things I used up here. And I'm using these print shop thickers and I'm spelling out bath time. And I'm going to put that along the bottom of my picture there. And when I use thickers, especially chipboard thickers, I always reinforce them with some adhesive because I find that over time they do not stick on their own. Um, the foam ones seem to do really well with that. Like if I'm using a foam thicker, I don't need to reinforce it, but with chipboard, I definitely always have to. So I always make sure I take the time to do it while I'm making my layout so I don't have to go back later and try to do anything like that. But I've had too many times where I've pulled out scrapbooks and my thickers are laying in the bottom of my layout because they didn't st they didn't stay over the long run. So for this one I'm using, um, I use quick dry adhesive which is in a fine line bottle and I use that to reinforce my thickers. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and do my journaling on these labels here from Studio Calico and I'm doing it on the labels because my background, you can't see it very well on camera, but my background, the cardstock there is actually textured. It's the Studio Calico white wood grain cardstock. So writing on it would be like impossible. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to write straight at all because of the texture on it. So I went ahead and used three of these little pink labels for my journaling. I'm going to put it down and realize it's up too high, so I'm going to move it down here. <laughs> and it runs off the page a teeny tiny bit, so I'll just trim that up here in a second. Okay, so I got that trimmed. And the only thing I'm going to add here are these little blue gems from Freckled Fawn. And that is going to complete my layout after I get all these done. So I'm going to have some close-ups here for you soon. And I will have um, links again in the description here if you want to check out the blog post where Kelly and I found this layout that we lifted. And make sure, if you haven't looked at Kelly's layout for today, make sure you go check her out too. She'll be on this channel as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you have any questions at all, please leave them and I will answer them as best I can. And I will see you again soon. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye.